In this video, we'll see how to connect Power BI Desktop to OBIEE subject areas using Direct Query. I've launched Power BI and I'll click Get Data. Or, if Power BI were already open, I could also click Get Data here. I'm looking for BI Connector on this list, and at the moment I don't see it because I need to configure files in my BI Connector installation. The missing file is called biconnector.mez and it belongs in one of my document subfolders, though it isn't in there yet. I can get this file by going to where I have BI Connector installed and finding the file called copypowerbimez.bat. Double clicking on this file will run the installation, copying the correct file to where it needs to go. Now when I open my documents and open Power BI Desktop, then Custom Connectors, the file I need is here. The same file is also placed in the same folder inside Microsoft Power BI Desktop. Returning to Power BI, I'll choose File, Options and Settings, Options. Under Global, I'll choose Preview Features, check Custom Data Connectors, and click OK. To implement the new settings, I need to close and relaunch Power BI. After relaunching, if you see a message about BI Connector not being certified, click OK to adjust security settings. BI Connector has already been certified by Microsoft and is currently being added to the list of certified connectors. In the meantime, here's how to fix this. Go back to File, Options and Settings, Options. Under Global, click Security and choose to load any extensions without warning. Then click OK. Close and relaunch again, and now when I choose Get Data, I have BI Connector on the list. I'll choose it and click Connect. Now I'll enter the name of the DSN I set up in my ODBC Data Source Administrator, and I'll click the Direct Query radio button. After I click OK, I need to enter my OBIEE username and password. Now in the Navigator, I'll expand the subject area and find the Northwind tables. I'll choose the fact and dimension tables whose data I want to visualize. I'll choose order details as the fact table, then customers, orders, and products. I can highlight any table to preview it on the right. Then I'll click load. Now the tables appear in the fields panel on the right. The next step is to create a relationship. I'll click manage relationships, then new. To define the related columns, I'll always start at the top with the fact table, in this case, order details. Then I'll choose one of the dimension tables, starting first with products. For each, I'll choose the GZID column. This is a connector column that ensures that Power BI uses OBIEE joins for the direct query. For cardinality, I'll choose many to one, and for cross-filter direction, I'll choose single. Then I'll click OK. I'll repeat these steps for the remaining dimension tables. I'll click New, and this time I'll start with Order Details at the top, then Customers. I'll use the same cardinality and cross-filter direction, and click OK. Then I'll do the same to connect Order Details to Orders. Now I can close the Manage Relationship window. I can now drag columns from fields to visualize data. For example, I'll open Customers and drag Country. Then I'll add Product Name from the Products table, followed by two columns from Order Details, Sales Revenue and Quantity. The default visualization is Map, whose borders I can drag to expand. I can zoom in to see data for various regions, and hover over areas of the pie charts to see Product Names, Sales Revenues and Quantity or I can switch to a stacked bar chart or a stacked area chart. 